Disney, but as market traders can attest those gambles, can also net some pretty big losses. Now, though, scientists say a trader's appetite for risk is all down to his hormones. Lindsay Janice has been checking testosterone levels in the city of London. 15,000, Frank. 10,000 A and C at 46. Let me know how the options are open, OK? Young, aggressive, and arrogant, Charlie Sheen portrays the stereotypical trader in the 1987 film Wall Street. Now, researchers at Britain's Cambridge University say the hormone that drives male aggression and sexual behavior may actually help men make more money. What we found was that when traders had high levels of testosterone in the morning, they tended to make more money for the rest of the day. The scientists studied a group of London traders, measuring traces of the hormone in their saliva. They say testosterone is linked to higher profits because it tends to increase one's confidence and appetite for risk. But too much of a good thing can also be bad. If testosterone levels stay elevated for a period of time, like in a bull market, then the researchers speculate the hormone can have a damaging effect, leading traders to make irrational decisions. Become overconfident and you can lose money. The researchers also looked for the stress hormone cortisol, finding more of it at times of increased market volatility. Their theory is too much of either of these natural steroids fuels extreme emotions, like exuberance and panic, the very emotions that characterize boom and bust in financial markets. London trader Tom Hugard says the trick is to control emotion as much as possible. It really is truly about knowing yourself. It's about knowing when to stop. It's about when, when to, to fall. On a winning day five years ago, I probably would have gone out and bought myself a bottle of sparkling. Five years down the line, I know that there will be winning days and there will be losing days. And I strive to be at that point now where a winning day and a losing day you would not be able to tell the difference. 